Hey everyone, we're gonna be making live steal in Fortnite today, so I hope you guys enjoy. So the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna be listening for any time a player gets damaged. So in this heal attacker function, I'm gonna cut pass in a result. Whoops. Result of type damage result. And this is void and like So now in our on begin, we we want to make a loop. So we do for every player in get play space dot get players, and then for every player we want to get the fourth character associated with that player. Fourth character equals player dot get fourth character like that, and we just call fourth character dot damage event dot subscribe the heal attacker. So first we want to get the amount that they were damaged by. So amount is going to be equal to the result dot amount. Simple, straightforward, nothing too fancy going on there. And next, I'm going to do the if instigator equals result dot instigator question mark. Now the reason we do this is because this, um, if we look at the fortnite.com uh, digest, we can see here that this damage result has a target, the amount, the instigator, and the source. The instigator here is, uh, you can see this question mark here, which means it's an optional. And we can see here that this can either be false or it can be an instigator, an instigator being a player, agent, or whatever. So if this is not false, aka if whoever caused the damage was a player, then we can unpack this, this won't be false, and we can return that value here. Now the problem is this is a game action instigator, so we still need to cast this to a player or an agent. So we just do agent colon equals instigator dot get instigator agent like this. That's gonna give us the agent associated with this instigator, if there even is an agent that caused that damage. And from there, just pretty standard, we get the fourth character associated with our agent. So agent dot get fourth character. So there's a bit going on here, but all we're doing is just getting the per the person who actually damaged our player. So really, in here, all we gotta do is make a heal amount variable. Heal amount colon equals the amount, and then times 0 0.20 or something. So this is your percentage. In this case, this will be 20%. You can heal by whatever you see fit. You can heal by 100%. You could pass in 1.0, but I'm just gonna do yeah, no, 0 0.20. 14, so 14%, just a random number. And then all we do is fourth character dot heal, heal amount. That's pretty much it, actually. Now, if you want to use this for your actual game, we need to make sure this uh, subscribe method, because this subscribe method is only going to subscribe at the beginning of the game, um, because this only runs once per uh, when the game begins. But let's say somebody else joins in progress. What we can do is do a handle player join function. We're going to take a player of type player. And in here, all we really have to do is just, we gotta get their fourth character. So if fourth character equals player dot get fourth character. And then we just literally repeat the same thing here. So we just copy this, just fourth character damage event dot heal attack. Like that, and this should be type void equals like that we have the method now but now we have to do this uh, in here we have to actually sort of bind this or make sure this is actually properly working so all we got to do is just do get play space dot player added event dot subscribe and we just pass in our handle player join and i believe this should be this should have, yeah like that okay so our player added event and we're going to subscribe that that's it. That's life seal mechanic.